Hey, it's Leo. Um, we actually have a suggested question for this week, and um, the suggested question is how to deal with being misgendered. And there's really kind of two parts um, to dealing with that. Um, at least for me, there's like before, you know, when I was living as female, um, and I mean, being misgendered had two meanings within that because there was me feeling misgendered, which was people saying female pronouns in my birth name and everything all the time, and, um, I really didn't have that many problems with my birth name. Um, I still am kind of attached to it, even though it's not my um, name that I use now. Um, it's a pretty unique name, and I liked it, I guess. Um, and it wasn't too feminine, so that never really caused me that many problems um, and being called female pronouns I would just kind of ignore pronouns um, anything gendered towards me and really towards anyone um, for me personally it's just a word and it did get to me some days um, with this worry and everything but most of the time it was like just a word, like if someone were to call me, I don't know, if someone were to start calling me pencil, like, it'd be weird, but I wouldn't necessarily take offense to it. Um, and then being misgendered, um, when I was still living female, when people did call me male on um, things, that was a wonderful thing. Um, and then being misgendered now, um, I did FaceTime with my family um, because my phone was having issues and so I had to FaceTime with my family to try and figure out what was going on with my phone. Um, and I was being misgendered because my family denies completely um, who I am so that was really rough for me and I kind of just hold up in my room um, for the rest of the night and it was it kind of set me off dysphoria wise um, but at the same time it was kind of like my family and that's how always how they've referred to me my entire life so it didn't really affect me as much as when my friends do it and when my friends from back home do it on accident I know it's on accident um, so that's helpful um, and then when people like my math professor um, used female pronouns with me, but it was just in stride in conversation as if I was a cisgender person. Um, she did apologize, um, which was very nice of her, but that's really the first time I've been misgendered since I've started living as male, um, like outright misgendered. And, I don't know, I kind of got like a that pit in my stomach, but then I was like, no one else in this room noticed. Um, but for people who are trying to live as male full time, I'm going to sneeze. Um, and they, if you do get misgendered a lot, um, and it's not like situations like I just explained, like you're walking down the street and you're wearing all guys clothes and you're binding and you're talking with a deeper voice and you just can't get it right and people just keep act, like unknowingly 
misgendering you. Um, I haven't really dealt with that that much, but um, I suggest one ignoring it um, if you can. If not, I really suggest um, which is a frightening thought, but confronting the person and saying, "Hey." I'm I'm a guy, and they might just take it and try to be like, I'm so sorry because there are some feminine guys out there who are cisgender, and they, I have a friend that he um, looks kind of girly, even though he dresses masculine and he's cis male and everything, and he gets misgendered. Which, I know it doesn't really help, like it happens to cis people too, but um, most people won't just automatically think, oh, you're a trans person. Um, but also, keep your safety, um, number one. And if it's more safe for you to just go along with it, and you're never going to see that person again, I suggest just going with it and then going home and bitching and venting and yeah so um, sorry for the long video but it was our first suggested question officially so yeah keep the questions coming please um, and I hope everyone is having a great fall and I will see you all next week.